an amazing Sunday. It is a little bit overcast here in New York City, a little bit of you know sunshine and a little bit of cloudiness now how are you doing and what is it like where you are now today we're going to be talking about anti-aging ingredients and i list a couple of the ingredients that we're going to talk about on the thumbnail today so you already know what we're going to talk about so if you have any form of uh, input feel free to you know comment and let us know if you use any of these ingredients and also what is it that you use it for now before i start guys i was thinking just before i came on the show a couple of minutes ago and i was just you know thinking and reflecting and life a little this is a beauty show but i just want to say talk about this just for a minute or two and i was thinking about happiness what is happiness and are you happy it's really something that we tend to overlook at times and sometimes we tend to just work 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 and we just keep going without even really thinking without even taking a few minutes of the day to reflect on our life and really to ask ourselves important question or simple question as are you happy are you happy at where you are in life today that is the question i was asking myself just before i came on the show and that's just a little part of meditation guys it's always good to meditate um I know we're going to be talking about skincare, but um, last night I was taking a shower and my aunt called. She was here spending a couple of months with me and she actually went home. And this like was the first time for a long, 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 long years that I've spent with her. And uh, she called while I was in the shower and she was asking me about dinner. And she was like, did you eat? And I honestly... <laughs> I actually forgot. I did not remember that I didn't eat dinner. And I know a lot of you out there is going to be like, how could you not remember to eat dinner? I just I did not remember. And that is basically my life these days. Okay. I tend to just work, work, work. I'm not an early eater, to be honest. Breakfast for me, as they always tell me, is 2 um, p.m. in the afternoon. I'm normally up at 5 20 to be exact my alarm is set for 5 20. if i feel a little lazy i'm gonna go five extra minutes which is gonna be like a 5 25. so that's the time i'm up and i tend to go to bed and this is no joke i go to bed at mm, 12 to 1. anywhere from 12 midnight to 1. If I go to bed at 11 p.m., it means that I am early. Now, guys, I am preaching every day and I'm sharing with you anti-aging benefits to the skin products, ingredients. I gave this entire story at the beginning of the show to let you all know what I personally is doing is totally wrong. And that was pointed out to me last night. You got to rest, guys. You got to rest. It doesn't matter how much anti-aging ingredient that I post on this channel and that you try. It doesn't matter how much you take care of your skin. If you don't rest, if you don't find time to, to, to be happy, if you don't find time to do the things that you love, it's not going to work. And it sounds like raw for me to be saying that, but it's the truth because everything goes hand in hand. It's like a chain reaction. One thing triggers the other. And that is basically what life is about. So spend some time with yourself. Spend a couple of hours with yourself per week. Reflect on your life. Find that happiness. Do something that make you happy. And also, guys, while you're at it, do a facial mask, a fine anti-aging ingredient. Just trying to break the ice a little and sleep. Sleep, 
Okay, I'm not saying to sleep out all your time. I think one of the reasons why I don't sleep a lot and I don't want to get into family issues, you know, my parents and all of this kind of thing, where, like, you know, I don't want to burden down the show today with my issues, but I always feel like I need to be up and about and do things, get things done, because I don't want to waste my time on earth. <laughs> Ah, I just think that life is short and I just want to go achieve what I'm set out to achieve and do what I'm set out to do. But guys, sometimes you got to slow down. And that's what I was told last night that I need to slow down a little. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing? I hope you are having a great Sunday and I hope that you are interested in the topic today and that is why you are here. We're going to be talking about anti-aging ingredients, ingredients that are all natural. Now, these ingredients that I selected today, guys, they are not just something that I just wrote down. I actually was out there and about on the computer doing my research to find out what is it that people People are interested in today so I do a search and I you know you know go on the computer and I start to do re uh, this research and I found that these ingredients that I listed today are the most uh, searched for when it comes on to skincare and they are also one ingredients that people are seeking out to use as natural anti-aging products so ingredients so there is uh, a reason for these ingredients now we and i was really happy that we use all of these ingredients on this channel not knowing that so many people out there were interested in these ingredients years ago people would use whatever it is on their skin but today more people are turning to natural ingredients people are looking for the natural way to enhance themselves to boots collagen and to have their skin looking amazing so we are using and we're going to talk about the popular search ingredient in skincare which is no stranger to most of you my subscriber unless you are new then you are not familiar with some of these ingredients but if you're an oldies but goodies you know these are ingredients that I personally share with you every day so guess what guys we are way ahead we are you know setting the trend when it comes on to natural skin care let me do some shout out and guys how are you feeling today feel free to comment 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 okay hello lovers how are you happy sunday to everyone Saul goodman which oil for wrinkle eyelid and you can use any one of the oils that i list today for your wrinkle eyelid but we're gonna get further into preferably for me though is the rosehip oil okay however i am currently using sesame seed oil mixed with rosehip oil on my eyelid and we'll get into that later on i like when the guys come on and ask questions on the channel peggy how are you love your recipe and down to earth personality thank you so much for that lynn tremblay um i'm messing up your name only four hours sleep yes not enough not enough barbara shepherd greeting now guys if you are an oldies and you're on the show today and i didn't give you your shout out you know don't take it personal. I'm scrolling back. Juleta Mendez, Ma H K M A H K I. Hello, Jason. Happy Sunday to you, Lucy. And we also, hey, Naris, I haven't seen you for a, a week or two. And we also have um, J uh, Duchess. How is it out there in Australia? And we also have um, Joe Mana. That's J J O U. Probably it's pronounced different, but J O U M A N A, and that's Corbusile. Um, and what's 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 that? Is that French? Let me know. Lucy, happy happy skin Sunday. Um, Elizabeth, um, hello to you too. We also have um, 
Okay, this is a new person. Not was, oh, no, no, not new, not new. All right, my son, Chef Omar, made me, oh, Lucy, this is Lucy coming. A wonderful steak dinner with all the trimmings. OMG, it was absolutely delicious. And I think someone was asking Lucy about her birthday, which was yesterday. And we did wish you, Lucy, a happy birthday. And we want to wish you a happy birthday again. Glad you actually enjoyed your birthday. We also have Phyllis. Happy Sunday, Gigi. All right, I did read that i'm just scrolling guys not to miss anyone on the comments now the first ingredient we want to talk about is neem oil and i think i pronounce it wrong i always be like neem i think neem is right n-e-e-m neem okay and this oil is from the neem fruit and seeds and mostly this plant is found out there in india so a lot of times people think that neem is like just indians they use it no that is because that region carry more neem oil than most places okay now the neem oil nowadays is so widely used when it comes on to cosmetic i personally have a bottle and i should have brought mine downstairs but you have been seeing it in my videos of late and that is because there's so much research that they're doing on this neem oil and now they are well it's really was an old remedy guys just so you guys know a lot of these stuff that they're bringing back and talking like so new to skincare so new 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 it's really old like really really old if you ask your grandparents or your great grandparents they were using all of these wonderful stuff before all of the machinery comes around and start producing synthetic stuff. Not that we are beating on synthetic stuff because some of them do help and these machinery are really good for you know the um the whole um the whole um you know skincare world where we could get better products and all of that more refined and all of that so i'm not beating up on that i'm just saying these things were around before peggy neem oil diluted is also used for helping plant when they have pests and I think that's also like the leaves and stuff. And I did read that also. Um, Lanessa, Lanessa Roslel, no, Roselle. I have tried all of these home remedies and no luck for years. Help me please, wrinkle all over. And just at the top of the hour, guys, we mentioned about using all these wonderful remedies without actually taking care of the inside and getting some sleep and all of that. So you need to not only look at the remedies you're using, but you also need to look at what is it that you're doing that might be contributing to you not getting the result you want. All right, so we're talking about Neen oil and neem oil have so many anti-aging benefits for the skin. Now, please also know that neem oil need a carrier oil. It is that strong. So when you get your neem oil first press, cold press, that is what I recommend. And also if you're all game organic, that's what I recommend. You need to use it with a carrier oil. I do not encourage to put neem oil directly on the skin. So you're going to mix it with a carrier oil, such as an almond oil, um, coconut oil, um, grapeseed oil, even some uh, vegetable oil. Now, neem oil is good where anti-aging process is concerned because it is one oil that can actually penetrate deep into the skin. It helps, and this is like I'm preaching and I'm using this word every day, but this is no joke, is help to boost the collagen production in the skin. Now, I like the neem oil because it's not only good for the skin, but it's also great for your hair and also your nails. If you have your regular store-bought lotion, and you get a little bottle of the neem oil, you can actually add a couple of drops to it, shake it up and use it all over your body. You can also take a little bit of your neem oil, mix it in your hair, um, but, well, I was just going to say Vaseline because, you know, people use Vaseline in their hair. I grew up using the Vaseline in my hair. I wish I have some neem oil at the time. But use it in your hair pomade. This is a better word to use, okay? Use it in your hair pomade, a little neem oil, and you will be amazed. Better yet, mix that neem oil with some castor oil and use it in your hair. Now, another wonderful benefit about 
the neem oil is that guess what guys the neem oil is good for dry skin if you have a dry flaky crack looking skin there you go use some neem oil and neem oil also help to smooth wrinkles someone just asked about the wrinkle on their skin the neem oil is amazing to use as i said mix it with a carrier oil now in some places you could get the neem oil pretty pretty cheap here i i think i pay something like $14 or so for the neem oil that I have, but I know depending on the region that you're from, it might be cheaper or it might be around about the same price. So if you are all in where this neem oil is concerned, when you're done, you go research the neem oil for yourself and come back and share some of your findings with us. I personally research it for myself and that was one of the reasons why I just ran out. First of all, a lot of my subscribers used to ask me like, you don't use neem oil, you don't, and that's why I love you guys so much. Like, oh, you don't use neem oil? And I was like, mm, 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 mm. So after having you all asking about neem oil, I went and I start researching because, you know, that's what I like to do first. And then I actually went and I purchased the neem oil, still not knowing that. Oh, I just noticed something, guys. The clock has changed. Thank you, auntie. And auntie, auntie, yeah, everyone on the show, the time has changed in New York. We fell back one hour. And I could have tell, you know, with the amount of people watching. And every year this happens. Sorry to cut you guys. Every year this happened where we turn back the clock and people <laughs> are not aware that the time. So now if you... I think like in Jamaica, we're on the same time now. And in some country, it would have been an hour uh, ago or hour before, but here, you know, in New York, not all of America, but here in New York, we turn back the clock. So we are actually broadcasting a little earlier. I think that's what it is. Yeah, a little earlier. Fall, backwards, spring. Okay, so we're actually uh, broadcasting a little earlier. Thank you for reminding me to give out that announcement, Auntie. And I should have known with the amount of people watching that something was off but every year we go through this so it's okay now another thing that neem oil does to the skin is that it helps to restore moisture to the skin now what are you waiting for if you can find that one oil that is good for dry skin it's good for your hair and your nails it's good to boost collagen production not only that it also penetrate deep into the skin i'm seeing a comment i want to answer before it passed penetrate deep into the skin smooth out wrinkles and boost collagen and leave your skin glowing then that that's one oil that you definitely should have in your collection. Um, Celine Rosario, um, Rosario, Rosario, that is. I'm sick, Chichi. I want you to try algeronic acid oil. It's best for anti-aging and ear. I just start using it for my ear. And once I get result, I let you know. And guess what? It actually was on the list. I just didn't want to pull all of that um, page up. But that is also another ingredient that people are turning to and people are using and people are researching, okay, and searching for on the internet. So thank you for that. I wasn't going to talk about it today, but it's also on my list, okay? So definitely, guys, we will talk about it because I want to do a show where I talk about most of the acid in a group. And that's why I didn't put that for the title. So thank you. Thank you for that. I do have it and I'm also using it. Thank you for that. All right. So we have, um, okay, Celine. So yeah, I was just watching it go up and I didn't want to miss it at all. All right, guys. So we are going to be talking about Okay, yes, I totally forget, forget that neem oil is also antifungal, antibacterial. So for those of you who have acne-prone skin, the neem oil is good to use on the skin also. And I'm so glad. This is how I like when you guys just remind me and tell me things that... Um, that I'm overlooking. So it's almost two Pacific time. So um, should be almost five Eastern. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Comfort. Um. Hello, my dear. Um. German Berlin. I don't know where to get this neem oil. Amazon. 
Amazon carry a wide variety of neem oil. And I'm going to put a few links in the description below. A wide variety. Look for cold press, first press, unrefined. When you're buying oils for your skin, those are the words you're going to focus on. Cold press, a first press, unrefined. And I put organic at the, the back of it. Okay. So if you want and you have it, or organic and that's another word that people search for too a lot of people want to know that the whatever it is they're putting on their skin does not have any form of a chemical to grow it that's what organic is all about personally for me i grew up using only organic stuff <laughs> I so like to talk about that, guys. And a lot of people who look at me when I said, when I was growing up, I only use organic stuff. And they look at me like I am, you know, showing off myself. But I'm not really showing off myself because where I'm from, we use no fertilizer. We use no pesticide, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. Nowadays, they are probably using those things like, you know, fertilizer and all of that. But when I was growing up, Everything, even when you make your tomato garden at the front of the house or at the back of the house, there was no such thing as, as, as fertilizer. I'm not saying it wasn't around, but where I am from, they never use anything like that. My grandmother had this huge farm, banana, cocoa, nutmeg, and all of that. And the word fertilizer was never, ever mentioned. So all of those good stuff was organic. So I definitely grew up using organic. And I just go through that little detail to really explain to some people what organic is. Organic is when it is grown without any form of these things that they put on plant to help them to grow faster and bigger and all of that good stuff. Or not so good stuff. All right, Amanda, I have great results using tamu, tamanu oil. And you mentioned that to me um, a couple of weeks ago, and I still did not get around to, to researching this oil, which you keep coming on here and you keep talking about it. And I, not only that, the names sound interesting. I think I lost my note with that. So I'm definitely going to research it. So now it's on my list of oil to look at. All right, Lassena, can I make my neem powder make for here into oil so I can use it on my face and skin? I also noticed that they have the neem powder. And I'm thinking that the neem powder, don't quote me on it, but I'm thinking that it is made from the neem um leaves i'm thinking the powder or maybe from the the stem i had don't quote me on it i gotta go check that out but definitely i am going to be using the neem powder in some of my facial masks and scrubs and stuff like that but go ahead what i would suggest you do with the powder if you want to use it on your face in the form of an oil pour some powder in like a, a little jar Pour some carrier oil on it since we need that. Mix it up, shake it up, put it in your pantry for a couple of days or a week or two. And then you take it out and you could actually strain it off. And that you could use on your face because definitely that would infuse the neem powder would infuse in the oil. Okay, so that is what I would recommend. And then you can use that on your face. All right, so now guys, we are moving on. We're going to talk about one of my favorite oil, and that is rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is another oil that is widely searched for these days. And I'm going to tell you the reason why so many people are rushing to use rosehip oil on their skin. Because rosehip oil contains a vitamin A, natural vitamin A, pure vitamin A. And that is what is used to boost the collagen production in the skin. When you buy an anti-aging facial cream out there on the market, take a look at the, the, the ingredients list and you're gonna notice that they use Vipe Up the Skin to get rid of the wrinkles and the fine lines. So what is it that this rosehip oil, what is going on? I think I see, all right, I, guys, I hope I don't. Okay, perfect, uh, perfect. All right, sorry guys, that was a little thing. I just noticed I have two internet systems my house and I was broadcasting on the lower grade. So now I just noticed that. So anyway, we're good to go. So that is why they are using the rosehip oil a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, I 
However, I find another oil that have more vitamin A than the rosehip oil, and this is the cake oil. And that's why I use a lot of the cake oil, but it's more expensive, it's pricier, it's, it's, the, the, it's all the way in the Amazon. So it's not that as you know easily accessible as the rosehip oil. So a lot of people are using rosehip oil as a natural oil for anti-aging process purposes. On this channel, I, I swear by the rosehip oil. I use it almost every day on my skin. I go through bottles and bottles because I make stuff for you and I also make stuff for myself and friends and family and I always use that rosehip oil. It is an amazing oil. The rosehip oil is made from the rose bud. However, it is mostly made from the wild roses, okay? If you see those little small roses, that's when they, the petals fall off and you see that little bulb in the middle. That is where they find the seeds from to make the rosehip oil. So it's not necessarily the commercial rose, I just want to make that clear. The commercial rose is not necessarily commercial rose because those, because of the process of producing those roses, they you don't find no plenty seeds in that little thing. But if you go to the wild roses, you're going to find the seed because those are natural. So those seeds are what they use to produce rose hip oil. And they now cultivate these roses because so many people are, you know, wanting to use the rosehip oil so if you use rosehip can i mix the cake oil and rosehip oil certainly that's what i do i mix the two together now a lot of people like to tell me i use way too much expensive oil on my skin but you're talking to someone that used to spend thousands of dollars buying expensive products to use on the skin when i buy myself a little bottle of rosehip oil or a little bottle of squalene oil or a little bottle of something like that it lasts forever because it's only two drops all you need is two drops and you know and two drops goes a long way so definitely guys if you're using the rosehip oil if you like the rosehip oil if you have used the rosehip oil and you are getting good result feel free to comment lever new lucy orange oil is used on furniture too even more than neem oil good for the skin good for the furniture as well please note also guys that it doesn't matter what oil that is out there that you use on your skin. Those are the same oils that they're going to manufacture to use on your furniture, to use on the floor, to use to do other things. The difference is the process, okay? The process, now, I don't want to get too technical, but yeah, let me go there. When it comes on to manufacturing things and producing things that we use on our skin or we use in the house, they are a different process. And that is why when you are searching for, let's say, a oil to cook, you need to look for food grade. So these come in different grades. Everything you make have a different grade, okay? So let's say you have the rosehip oil and the rosehip oil that you're going to use on your skin is going to be a cosmetic grade oil. Now, if we were going to eat rosehip oil, it would be a food grade oil. I know it's not the show for this. This is for Let's Talk Skincare, but I just saw something and I have to address it. But guys, if you want to get into more detail about how these things is produced and processed, those things are right up my alley, guys. In case you guys don't know. Anyway, let's not talk my business. But yes, if you want me to get into all of those kind of stuff guys i'll do it and let's start skincare but please note and that's why for instance avocado oil when you're i personally buy food grade avocado oil to use on my skin because i feel like i need to be able to go in the pantry open the pantry throw my avocado oil in my pot fry something and then use the same avocado oil from the same bottle and rub on my face but if you're not careful there are also avocado oil that is cosmetic grade and that one you don't eat sesame seed oil food grade 
cosmetic grade. So when it, the grades start to go lower, that is the grade that they would use, let's say for the neem oil, then you have the food grade neem oil, the cosmetic grade neem oil, and the grade below that would be like for the furnitures and you know whatever else they use it to do. I hope you get something from that. All right, so um, La Senza, well, castor oil is eligible and actually, and it's actually higher grade. Thank you so much. I actually grew up um, drinking castor oil. They used to give us like a, a teaspoon of castor oil. <laughs> Really, really bad taste, but good for us. All right, so so that is how it really is in case you are wondering why there are so many oils that they use in other things like the clean furniture, clean floor, and all of that good stuff, and you can also use it on your skin. So we just spoke about the rose hip oil, and tomorrow somebody's going to comment and tell me, oh, you spent such a long time talking about these things. But you guys, you watching the show live, and you know that, I look at the question, we get sidetracked and all of that. All right. Um, you grew up with real organic, not fake organic. Read label often, they are deceiving with the organic words. And we could talk about that loosely because I know where you're going with that. Annette Williams, can black seed oil that is for drinking be used on the skin? Yes. Yes. So that's what I do on it. What I do, I buy food grade everything. No joke. Unless there's no food grade. But once it has food grade, that is the one I buy to use in my, you know, homemade stuff that I'm using. Because I feel like what is good to eat is good to use on my skin. Most time I don't buy cosmetic grade unless I have to. Something you have to, but some things you don't have to. So if it's good to eat, it's good to go on your skin. And that's the way I look at it. So anything you're buying and you can eat it, then you know you can use it on your skin. All right. So Renee Barbara, please, the treatment for exogenous um, on oranosis. Still waiting, Chichi. This is the fourth time I'm bringing it up. And guys, I, you know, Lucy, we got to talk because I really need an, uh, a note keeper right here. Because sometimes, guys, if I don't write things down when you ask for it, when the show is over, I tend to forget to go and look it up or do something uh, about it. All right, Taran G, I love rose hip oil. Sh Sharon Lewin, um, how are you, Lewin? I, grew, I went to school with some um, kids with that last name back in the 80s. All right, so um, um, Lady T-A-K, -T go ball, chi, yes, get it, get it, tell us if you have background, glad you are here to tell us, tell us, <laughs> oh, don't tell my business on this ch um, chat, okay? Don't talk, I know you're onto something, but don't talk my business on this chat. All right. Um, we also have um I'll be your note keeper. All right. So we definitely need some note keeper on this um talk. And someone asked um a couple months ago, and we definitely um is you know, revamping thing and looking into adding a few moderator. All right, guys. So we talk about rosehip oil and um, neem oil. And who wants us to talk about aloe vera? I mean, we have to talk about it because we have a lot of new people on the chat today. Most people is not here. And I know it's the time difference, but the show must go on. And we're going to talk about aloe vera. Now, when I just started YouTube, I came on using a lot of aloe vera gel. And that's like three years ago. However, after three years, people are still interested in aloe vera gel. And I get beat up all the time that I don't pronounce it right. But whatever, you know what I'm talking about, right? People are still searching for fresh aloe vera, how to use it, because it's another ingredient that is great for anti-aging purposes, but just like the neem oil, it's another ingredient that is good to use from your head to your toes. It's good for your hair. First of all, when I was growing up, and I like to talk about when I was growing up, I grew up in rural St. Catherine, Jamaica, okay? Like not in the city, in the country. And we used to have the aloe vera plant 
God bless my grandma. My grandma have everything with land, 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 all kind of things. We never normally call it aloe vera, though. We have a name for it. And it's, it's a name that I don't know if any other country call it this, but we call it single Bible. I don't know why they call it single Bible, but that's what they call it. Growing up, that was like a bitter thing. That was like condemn when it comes on to kids but the adults they go crazy for it they rub it in your hair they beat it up and swallow it and they do all these kind of things little did i know that current day today after almost 50 years after people are still going crazy more so now the millenniums are now turning to the aloe vera it's good for sunburn it's good to clear the skin of spots and blemishes it's good to to eat it's good to drink it's good to plump the skin up it's good to make bath soap it's good for so many different things and i wouldn't pass it that they have a furniture polish using the aloe vera okay i don't see it guys don't call me on that i'm just saying but it is really good now when we were growing up you don't see the aloe vera anywhere but in the fields or so nowadays you have on the market, you have aloe vera oil, which I have here. You have aloe vera powder. When you go and you buy your smoothie, I live in New York where, you know, they have all these little fancy, you know, vegan organic places. And you could get a teaspoon of aloe vera powder in your smoothie, okay? Believe it or not. So you have oil, you have smoothies, and you have all kind of different aloe vera products out there on the market. However, most people searching for aloe vera want it in the natural form. So look for 100% pure aloe vera whenever you try to buy it online if you don't have the fresh plant. Lucky for me now, here in New York, almost every supermarket, every green grocery stand carry the aloe vera leaf. And most of those are like from Mexico, the good old Mexico. They actually grew a lot of aloe vera. Some places like some of my subscribers, like in Germany and these places, they always complain, we don't have it. We don't have it. So buy the aloe vera oil. I'm using the oil and I'm actually loving the oil. Okay. If you can't get the fresh one, get it the the oil or get the powder now to be honest with you i made one video using the powder and i didn't like it i didn't like the aloe vera powder for the skin so i'm just gonna keep it honest with you however i don't mind putting a teaspoon in the smoothie but when it comes onto the skin the powder wasn't working for me. So I like the fresh one. I like the store-bought bottle, the gel, and I also like to use the oil. You choose. If you have tried the aloe vera powder, guys, feel free to comment. All right. Um, Jesse, did your aloe vera gel turn pink after a few days? Yes, it's going to turn um, yeah, pinkish, brownish, pinkish. Yes, that is what's going to happen. It is still good. It is still, it's just like the potato. When you cut the potato and the hair eat it, and I would have to go into a whole nother school to explain to you what happened, why it turned color like that. But yes, that's what is going to happen. But use it up within the seven days. It is good. Now, if you're going to make a concussion using lemon, then you could squeeze the lemon on it and it's not going to turn. Okay. It's going to stay bright and white until you are ready to use it. But if you're not going to use lemon with what you're making, then you will have to leave it like that. It is normal. All right. On it, aloe vera, egg, and milk is good to drink for. Yes, yes, yes. And you know why I don't say that. Okay. Because you do get a little sensitive these days. Woman stuff. I'm still working on uh, bringing the woman a show without using certain words so that they don't block us guys. So 
we know and everybody on the chat will see what it is good for glendoria carlson how old should the aloe vera plant have to be before it is strong enough to use i grew the plant in the house the plants are small. Can I use them? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. First of all, pick the outer part and leave the middle part. I grew aloe in the house also, and they're normally very, very small. And that is because of the where you have them in the house. You need to have them in bright sunlight. So if you have them somewhere where they're not getting enough sun, they're going to be very, very tiny and all of that. However, there are some people that grew like really nice one, like Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, I'm business now, right? Go really, really nice ones, I guess, but she lives in a sun place, okay? So bear that in mind when you're trying to grow your aloe vera. For people that live in a warm climate, the aloe vera plant is going to be better and look nicer than those that live in the colder climate. However, even if they're tiny, they're good to use. Just take from the bottom and make sure you leave the middle part. That's where it's going to spring up. All right. So, um, all right, so Lucy, you did answer that for me. All right, so guys, we just mentioned, let me, what else I have to talk about? We talk about, oh, rice. Oh, rice, 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 rice. Now, guys, I know that you noticed that I made a lot of stuff using rice, but did you guys know that that is also another anti-aging ingredient that people are searching for to use on their skin, more so how to make rice water and how to use it on the skin. Fermented rice. If you watch the video on Friday, you're going to get a full layout of how to make rice water, how to ferment that rice. And quick and easy is to get some rice, boil some water, pour it on the rice. Do not cook the rice. Pour the water on the rice, cover it up, leave it there for a few days and you get the fermented rice. And that is loaded with nutrients and minerals. That's going to hydrate the skin, clear the skin of spots and blemishes, boost the collagen production in the skin. That's an old Asian trick that now the new millennium and all these people that are now crazy for natural remedy to use on their skin, they are turning to the rice. Now, because so many people are searching and going crazy about rice to use on their skin, little old me went even further and I'm researching just as they are researching. And I also found that purple rice and black rice are more have more anti-aging properties than the white rice. If you have white rice, that's what you're going to use. But these are just new invention. And so I read them. That's how I share them with you. So guys, what, like tomorrow, the video, we are going to be making a rice cream. Mm -hmm. I use white rice, however. And the reason why I use the white rice is not that I don't have the black and the purple, but I want everybody to be happy. And when I use the purple, sometimes I get a little lash back. We can't find it. So I use white rice to make an amazing cream. No joke. I wear it today. A little goes a long way, preferably to use it at night, though. And you're going to be blown away with this rice cream. For your skin, your face, your neck, your décolleté, but it's also multi-purpose because it's good for the dark circles under your eyes. So you don't want to miss tomorrow's video, 10.30. We move from 10 o'clock. We're trying to make 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the time the video is going to post. And I probably will do a little preview of it on um you know, YouTube stories just to give a little teaser when I'm done. I'll show you it on the story. So if you have watching on your phone, I'm going to put the cream on the stories for you to see. But the full video is going to be out tomorrow. Amazing combination. So when I made these rice cream and scrub and all of these things, guys, don't shy away from it. Give it a go. Use it because when you go out there and you buy your facial cream these days, I guarantee you that most of you watching will be blown away at the price if you're going to buy the serum or the cream that contain rice. And it's no joke because I used to buy it. I used to use black rice from a company and the very, very pricey. Now I make my own and my skin is looking amazing. Okay. All right. So 
definitely guys try the rice and i have some facial toner on my channel using rice i'm gonna revamp those because the more i learn is the more i get better ways to bring you natural stuff that you can make at home to get better results better technique and all of that good stuff so i'm definitely gonna revamp that so you could get a better rice toner for your skin hello inga k how are you doing I haven't seen gloria lawrence welcome 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 now guys there's another ingredient that is not listed on the panel that a lot of people are turning to and this one is a uh, witch hazel now you got to be careful with the rich witch hazel right you got to be careful with it you got to get the witch hazel oil now you're going to find witch hazel listed on a lot of products okay but it's not a pure which hazel now which hazel people are searching for the natural which hazel because of guess what let's see who on the channel know why they're searching and using a lot of witch hazel oil these days if you know why please comment claudia pere i did you love your video i have tried some of them and they do work thank you so much for that fed dev F E D D E V. JD, how are you? JD, J Joshua Stan. So there's a conversation going on. Menopause Ati. Hey, hey, how is everyone? Menopause Ati, tell well, we'll talk about that soon. Why you give yourself that name? All right, because that's something most of us on the channel really want to talk about. Catherine, that's Catherine Regaliza. Regaliza, how are you doing? We are actually talking about anti-aging ingredients guys and we're not only talking about just the surface we're going into more details and i'm telling you what is going on why we should use them how we should use them and you know the little that we do about them okay so jason it's good it's, it's an estrogen good for acne prone skin yes and um lanessa um i use which is for decades great toner and barbara which is a stop itching and for facial toner but some are mixing it with alcohol be careful and that's what i was going to talk about that is why i'm telling you read the label i actually picked up a bottle of witch hazel and they have on the bottle pure witch hazel when i came home and i turned that bottle around 14 percent alcohol so be careful guys be careful be careful when you're buying your witch hazel now one of the most used for which hazel is in the form of a toner however when it comes on to Mm hmm dark circles around the eyes puffy eyes and eye bags that is what the witch hazel is doing to you guys it's getting rid of all those things i don't have puffy eyes and you would think that i would have puffy eyes since i only get four hours sleep but i use my creams guys i use my stuff okay now which hazel is now the most sought after ingredient for dark circles and puffy eyes and eye bags. So some people normally be asking, I don't know what this witch hazel is. It's actually an oil made from a plant by the name of witch hazel, right? So that's the best way I could describe it. I'm not sure if it is sold in worldwide, but I know most people might have access to it. Be careful when you're buying it, however. Now, guys, when when you make some fresh green tea at home, green tea, you brew that green tea and you're going to use it as a facial toner, a little trick is one cup of green tea to three tablespoons of witch hazel and put it in it with one teaspoon of um, vegetable glycerin shake that up and that is natural as you can get and that is like the best toner kick it up a notch and add some rice water to that as a matter of fact brew the green tea with the rice water cool it 
put the estrogen, which is estrogen, put the witch hazel and a little bit of the vegetable glycerin and you have yourself a homemade facial toner that's going to plump that skin up, that's going to just do a number on your skin, hydrates the skin and have yourself looking amazing. And um, you see, Barbara, you give us the name of a brand and they actually black it on my end to say I'm supposed to hide it. So that is what I'm saying, guys. The way, you know, these man these little things going on YouTube, we got to be mindful. But if some of you could see it, you can. If not, I'm going to put it in the link below when I'm done, Barbara. Okay. All right. Hey, Jackie, mom, which is also good for bites from insects like our repellent. And that is also true. Another thing which is good for where like this is like the old remedy is if you have excess around down there, the back one, like that little thing that come up. I don't want to say it on the show because they might block the show today. You can actually use the witch hazel to shrink it. So it's good for a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. And somebody bought witch hazel and cucumber, and that's another remedy that you could make at home. You could get your cucumber. You're going to use it up in seven days, and you put your witch hazel with the cucumber juice, put some vitamin E oil, shake that up, and you have your own homemade estrogen, which is going to refresh the skin. Keep it in your refrigerator and just rub it on your face after you wash your face, let it dry, and then then you just, you know, move, use your serum and your moisturizer. And another word we have on our show was the hyaluronic acid, which we're not going to talk to about today. We also have linoleic acid and all those good stuff, which I'm, as I said, I'm going to group the acid before, you know, and make a complete show just talking about the acid. So there we have all of the, the new search words, um, for skincare, natural skincare, that is, guys. I hope you guys are learning something. I know a lot of people just like when I come on and I just talk about, like, just mix this, blend a banana, put some oil in it, put it on your skin. But I wouldn't be happy doing that to you guys. I want you guys to know what you're doing and why we're using this stuff. I used to ask a lot of why question when I was growing up. Why is this? Why is that? Why, 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 why? And that is how I do my videos. I do my video. I made my videos like I am watching them. Because if I'm watching a video like these that I made and you're going to come on and then telling me to put two drops of neem oil and mix it well. Well, I'm like, why are you putting neem oil in it? I need to know why. So then you got to explain to me that I'm using the neem oil because it's an anti-aging. It have anti-aging properties and it will have to boost the collagen production. It's also a penetrate in the skin and plump the skin up. And that's how I make my video. And I know for some people, they just want the quick mix it, mix it, mix it and go. But guys, you really need to know what you're using and when you are using it. So it doesn't matter if some of you only watch quarter of the video, <laughs> I am still going to make it like that because that's what I believe in. And I want to be true to myself when I put stuff out there for you guys to watch and also to use it, knowing that that is your skin that you're putting stuff on. And you need to know why and you need to know, you know, if it's harmful or if it's okay to use on the skin. You really and truly need to know what you are using. All right, so it's question times now, eight minutes before the hour. So if you have a question, go ahead. In French, we call it amamilis. Amamilis. Okay, so we also have um, one company mix it with everything. Moderation. What happened when you use hyaluronic acid all the time? Well, it depends on your skin. As I normally said to you, somebody said moderation and everything you use in moderation, okay? So do not overdo anything whatsoever and mix it, okay? Mix it and a little. Now, what? oh gosh, I can't go back into that other than that you guys probably going to get off the show. If I'm going to go in the scientific part of making these things and the, the ounces and the chemicals and 
all right so we'll talk about that another time all right so uh, let's talk skincare with chichi beauty but everything you do use it in moderation okay all right um glycerine um g-l-y-c-e-r-i-n-e -E. that is the american spelling so also note that i'm not sure if in Europe that they put the E instead of the I. So that could be an issue. I don't know what you guys talking about, but I just see somebody saying spell glycerine and you spell it with the E. That's like the, the, the English, um, the British um, spelling and with the I is the American. So we're not going to get all into that, you know, the grammar and how you spell this in this country. For instance, aging, sometimes you're watching the show and I use aging and i drop the e and uh, that's the american way and with the e in it uh, that is the european way so don't start to get a little that's just the english language is very confusing like really really confusing when it comes on to e's and i's and h and a and that is why when a lot of people come on the channel and they criticize like me dropping my h or you know you just ignore it because different part of the world pronounce things different and they also use different lettering like the e and the i and the cucumber tomato potato tatata so okay so anyway let's not get into that all right guys so um fernet porter oh yes um you're for real you have to also take care of the inside the good things inside always show on the outside and we definitely definitely love that tretrian what do you think of it don't know don't know don't know writing 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 okay all right so we have um sharon Gitten. good even all right guys so today we talk about all the ingredients that was listed on and we even went into talking a little bit more iris lopez you are fantastic and amazing thank you so much for all the wonderful information you are so thank you so much for that um thanks you got to run with We'll watch the rest later. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Love you. Thank you for joining. We also have Joan. All right. So Joan was going on with the spelling. Um, La Sensa, just like food, you don't want to use the same thing every day. And I'm so glad I noticed this command. Everything have a, a, a shelf life. Everything have a, a peak. Okay, so you use something today, it's going to get to a peak. And when it comes on to the skin, the skin is just like that. If you use something on the skin all the time, what is going to happen? The skin is going to get used to it. And when the skin gets used to it, you don't get any result. I could go in the whole scientific thing about that, but we're not doing that today. I'm just giving it to you that everybody could understand what I'm saying. So it's a peak, okay? If, if, if you use, let's say you use a bar soap and after a while the skin gets so used to it, it needs a change. So that's why we have so many different skincare products out there on the market. That's why we have so much, you know, concussion and remedies on this channel because you need to change up after a while. You find something, it worked for you. After a while, you stop it, use something else, and then you could go back to it. In that way, you're introducing new things to your skin and your skin is going to react accordingly. And then you're going to have beautiful skin from just interchanging things. Okay. Just like your hair. If you wear one hairstyle for 20 years and somebody see you 20 years after they're going to be like oh my goodness you look the same change it up change it up especially when you're trying to look fresh and young not only your face change up the ear style and we don't want to preach today but change it up okay don't let somebody see you from your high school reunion and now you are in your 50s i'm gonna tell you that oh my goodness you look the same you should look different okay you should look different in a good way though in a good way you don't want to look different like oh you look so older no but guess what if you have the same hairstyle then just might tell you you look older all right so just change it up a little so that when they see you they're like oh goodness 
You look so different. You look good. That's what you want to hear. And that's why we do this. We're not doing it for people, you know. We're doing it for ourselves. But a little compliment sometimes, you know, won't hurt. A little compliment sometimes is good. So that is how you treat your skincare, just the way you treat your hair and just the way you treat your food. Like you, when I was growing up, I like to talk about when I was growing up so much. I'm so glad my parents, well, I'm not saying so glad my parents are not around. I wish they were around, but. I like to spill their secrets sometimes. So we grow, the show is over, guys. You know, I'm just talking right now. Nothing about skincare anymore. So we grew up in the country and whatever was in season, that is what they eat, okay? No joke. I was a fussy kid from I was little. They eat what is in season. When you have like Aki, I'm Jamaican, guys. Some of you don't know what Aki is. National dish of Jamaica. When you have Aki in season, Every, even you come from school is aki like aki with saltfish aki with nothing in it aki, aki, like you know it depends on the pocket aki with rice aki with dumpling and banana oh girl i'm so tired of this aki thing like enough enough i feel like i just want to eat some banana crush it with a little butter or something i'm just tired of the aki all right and that was the same thing too when they have like breadfruit some of you guys don't know what that is Hello, my Jamaicans watching. They would kill you with that thing. Like, let me not use that word on this show, but you know, guys, they would just overdo it. Like, breadfruit roast in the morning, breadfruit cooked for dinner in the evening. I used to take out my breadfruit when I get home from school and they put the breadfruit in the plate. I never liked to cook breadfruit, guys. And I used to just throw it behind the chair and behave like I'm eating it. <laughs> When I'm done, I would get up, nobody looking, pick it up and put it in the garbage. Not good, not good. Especially when I was growing up, you don't waste food like that. But I was just tired of having the same thing over and over and over. And I just grew up like that. I don't like to eat the same thing over and over. And just like my skin, I don't like to use the same thing on my skin over and over and over. Now, if you're like me, guys, please comment. Taryn, Aki and Sawfish and grown food. You know what I'm talking about. And that remind me of seeing a girl who came on my job one day and said, oh my goodness, you could get fat. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yvette Marie, so over much, it's too much. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, so... You know, we have to end the show talking a little about life and, you know, you know, you know how we grew up. It's always good to reflect on life and, you know, where you're coming from, where you are today and all that good stuff. Um, um, Ruby, I am so happy that I can chat with you and all. Make me smile ear to ear as so many times I cannot reply on my art breaks but excited now thank you thank you thank you so much for that all right so um um celine i just used the rice parsley and aloe vera cream and add some hyaluronic acid to it and some coconut oil vitamin e i feel it's uh stretching my skin out you think it's stretching your skin out you probably overdoing it but you need to do some massaging it shouldn't stretch your skin nothing is going to stretch your skin unless you constantly pull on your skin. So make sure you get your application technique down pat. Notice I normally said, don't tug on your skin, pat it on the skin, pat it and do some facial massages along with it. You might be using too much hyaluronic acid. Portion, portion. I'm definitely going to do a show for you guys with it and go into details ounces and everything like that because some of these ingredients especially the acids you do not play with it okay you don't play with the acid glycolic acid algeronic acid these kind of acid you don't play with them even though they are in the natural form all right sharon i have the young this young look um um much less when you were when use your remedy. Thank you so much for that. Phyllis Arkin, I appreciate you sharing your family story. Yes, my dear. I am not ashamed of where I'm coming from. Never ever ashamed. I think my foundation in life is what make me what I am today. Very, very grateful, very appreciative, and very grounded. Like 
you know, I appreciate so much. I appreciate life. I appreciate just being able to buy a pack of pen and all of that. Not that we were, um, let me see. We never have her like not have. We just use what we have. Does anybody get that, what I'm saying? We always have, but we use what we have, <laughs> okay? If you understand, we don't have ground food and we're going to go buy a lot of rice and all of those things. We use the ground food because that's what we have, all right? So when we get to the stage, like on a Sunday, and we want like chicken, okay? We don't normally buy chicken. When I was growing up, I'm talking about guys. We don't normally buy chicken at the supermarket, we use what we have because we raise chicken. So we get the chicken from our little chicken farm. Not a farm, but, you know, we have chicken running around and all of that. We have pigs too. Goats. My father used to have goats. And he used to kill a goat. Should I use the word? Oh, my. This is so sensitive. That's how I was raised. Yeah, we get a goat and we, we you know, we slaughter the goat and we do whatever. And we make manish water and we make um, curry goat. <laughs> So every birthday, my father would, you know, do a whole goat and we go to school. Can't wait to get home because we know when we get home, we're going to have manish water. We're going to have curry goat and we eat goat meat for a whole week because we kill a, a, a big goat. So that's how I was raised. So if you understand what I am saying then, you know, you know, no, I didn't swear. I'm just saying, you know, they're so sensitive on YouTube where you can use certain words. They might block my video because I say, you know, something like that. But that's how I was raised. Anyway, guys, now today I don't eat meat at all. I think I eat too much when I was growing up. So I don't eat, eat any at all. It's my choice. It's my choice. Never say never. I don't know if I'm going to go back to eating it. But right now I'm just three years into it, just not eating meat. Okay. So to each his own. But if you love meat, yeah, go ahead and eat your meat. I still cook it for my family. When they come, I don't want them to miss out because they're still eating it. So do what you want to do. Rowdy, um, after this awesome video, I will be doing your rice water and potato juice. Ma, so excited. And in the refrigerator now, so nice and cold. Thank you, Uggs, and love always. Thank you. And that's a good way to end the show today, guys. My time is up. I love you guys so much. And Lucy, I was very... Thin. People used to call me bone and thin thin. Yeah, and they used to call me geese neck. Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. I love you guys. And somebody's coming on right now and just carrying on on the channel. So we are gonna go. We love you. And wait for the video tomorrow, 10 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for watching. Have a good week. And for those of you who didn't get a chance to watch because the time changed and you watch till the end, because a lot of you are gonna watch it after. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. And I'll also see you next Sunday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love yourself, because if you don't, no one else is going to do it for you. Bye, guys.